Now, a week ago, I did not think I would be doing a video like this. Alexis Sanchez, we all considered his move to Man City pretty much a formality. But at the last knockings, Manchester United and Jose Mourinho have come in for Sanchez to the point now where the BBC are reporting that Man United are favourites to sign Alexis Sanchez. What I'm going to do here is run through the, the situation in the last week. How has this developed? How are Man United leading the race to sign Sanchez? Let's get into the full story. Now, on the 11th of January, that's where it all kicked off, thanks to an article from Fabrizio Romano, who we all know works for Gianluca Di Marzio, considered one of the most reliable sources on Man United transfer news, and it was also backed by Ed Ahrens in The Guardian. They were saying that Man United was set to mount a surprise move for Alexis Sanchez, with a fee in the region of 25 million, or a bid, sorry, not a fee. Now, they also mentioned that Henrik Mkhitaryan could be used in a make-weight transfer to make it a little bit easier for Arsenal to deal with United. And this took everybody by surprise. As I said, United were not really considered to be in for Sanchez at all. But that is not what they were saying on the 11th of January. Then on the 12th of January, Gianluca Di Marzio came in and then he said that Man United were now leading the race to sign Alexis Sanchez and that we have made contact with his representatives. As I said, this has all taken United fans by surprise. Yes, we'd all love to see Alexis Sanchez coming to United, but after City made a 60 million move for him in the summer and everything pointed towards him moving to City. Now United were in the frame. And then you do have to wonder why is this only the first time we've heard this? Why hasn't Jose Mourinho been in for a player like Alexis Sanchez earlier if he intended to go for him? Now, I personally think this move from Mourinho is very opportunistic. You know, a player who's that world-class and is available for a, a cut price deal in terms of his actual true value, thanks to having no contract in the summer, it's opportunistic. And if it wasn't Man City leading the race to sign him, I'm not sure Mourinho would be in for him at all. But because they are, because he is a free agent in the summer, Mourinho is making a surprise, surprise move. Then on the 14th of January, questions were asked, would Alexis Sanchez be playing for Arsenal? No, he was dropped from the squad altogether. Arsenal lost away to Bournemouth. They really are a club in disarray, heading downwards under Arsene Wenger, a manager who some of their fans don't really want to be their manager anymore. And Alexis Sanchez wants out as well. And the fact that he was left out, another indicator. Then Arsene Wenger was asked about his future. After the game, he said it's all going to be resolved in the next 48 hours. So could Alexis Sanchez be a United player by Wednesday night? That is what Wenger's hinting towards. Well, the fact that he's leaving Arsenal anyway. Then the most important update came on Monday morning from Simon Stone in the BBC saying that Man United were now clear favourites to sign Alexis Sanchez for two reasons. First reason, because they're willing to meet Arsenal's valuation, £35 million. That's what Arsenal want for Alexis Sanchez. With City only offering or being willing to offer £25 million, it gave United an opportunity to come in over the top with an extra £10 million and say, look, we'll pay that. And also, United are willing to meet Alexis Sanchez's personal demands. Now, Man City were also willing to pay those, but it's that extra 10 million. The only reason Arsenal would let Alexis Sanchez go in January is if they can benefit from getting extra money and getting a replacement in. It looks like it might be Malcolm from Bordeaux, and they want the extra money to pay for him. So if City aren't willing to pay that extra 10 million, then it's an incredibly astute move from United to just go in over the top and offer it. And that is what all the papers are reporting. But as I said, Man City could absolutely come back in at this point, come over the top, offer Alexis Sanchez his demands, offer Arsenal the 35 million they want, and he will join Man City because Simon Stone is making it clear that City is his preferred destination. And right now, who could blame him? Because City are flying high at the top of the league. But United, we've still got Lukaku, Mourinho, Martial, Jesse Lingard included him in that as well. Man United have got a very, very strong squad. Pogba as well, Mata, Mkhitaryan, whether he's going to be there for much longer, I don't know. But United are in second place in the league at the moment. United are second behind City in terms of the best teams in the league, as far as I'm concerned. And if Alexis Sanchez does come in, that takes United up a level. I mean, you can't not be happy at the idea of Alexis Sanchez joining Manchester United. A truly world-class game-winning player, the sort of player that can win matches on his own with a piece of individual magic. But goal scoring right now isn't actually our problem. Only Liverpool, City and Spurs have actually scored more goals than United this year. But we have had a problem with a playmaker, somebody who can create as well. And that's certainly something that Alexis Sanchez could help with. We need somebody to dovetail with Paul Pogba. That's why Jesse Lingard's been doing so well in the last few games, well, in the last six games or so. But we need someone. Maybe Alexis Sanchez can operate more as a playmaker and not a goal scorer. 
But you saw how good Lukaku was at the start of the season when we had somebody who was feeding him opportunities. When that's dried up, his goals have dried up. Sanchez himself would score a lot of goals, but he would add as well that just that sprinkling of gold, gold dust into this team. Maybe it doesn't need it, but if a player like Alexis Sanchez is available for 35 million, do you really not make a move for him? And in terms of Arsenal as well, I think this suits Arsenal better to deal with United. If they get more money, obviously that will deal with them better. But also Mkhitaryan being used as a make weight in the opposite direction. Mkhitaryan would be a great player, I think, for Arsenal. I think Mkhitaryan still could be a great player for United, but he's shown mental fragility and repeated mistakes under Mourinho. And if Mourinho gives you one chance, it's not that it's rare, but he'll never give you two chances. Make the same mistake twice, he will get rid of you. And it looks like that is going to be the case with Alexis Sanchez. I mean, as I said, I genuinely don't think that Man United would even be in for Sanchez if it wasn't City that we would be gazumping. But that's what Mourinho is trying to do. That's what Mourinho is doing at the moment. And everything now is pointing towards United signing Sanchez instead of City. As I said, at this late stage, City could come back in over the top, offer the 10 million. That's nothing for Sanchez. And if they do, and they offer the extra money, maybe City will be signing Sanchez after all. But at this point, United are considered favourites. I'm going to do another video later in the week. Where there's so much Sanchez stuff to talk about. All we're going to do is do the full story today. But I want to know your thoughts on this Sanchez transfer. Should United be going in for him? Do you think he will be joining United? Or will City come in over the top and get him? Let me know what you think in the comments. And would you be happy as well, uh, Alexis Sanchez joining United? As always... Drop a like on the video and subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. See you soon. Take it easy.